Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to play SNES games or Nintendo Entertainment System games on your PC. All the links are in the description, so go ahead and go down and click on the link in the description. And once you get to this site, we're going to hit on this download. And then we're going to click on the top result under Windows that says Nestopia Binary. It'll send you to a secondary website, wait for the timer to run out, and then it'll let you download the file. And once the download is finished, you can go ahead and open it up. If you're not able to open this up, you might need a program like 7-Zip or WinRAR. You're going to make a new folder on your desktop and open that up as well. And you're going to click and drag the contents from your download folder into your new folder. After you have that completed, you can look in your new folder and find the next Nestopia EXE and double click it. And now the emulator will open up. So what we have to do first is set up our controller. So we're going to go to the top and go to options. Then we're going to go to input. Then select your controller in this drop down menu right here if it's not already selected. On this page what we have to do is assign the buttons from our controller or keyboard to the buttons that would be on an SNES controller. So we're going to go ahead and click set all. And as you can see, it says we need to hit left. So we're going to hit left on our controller or whatever button on your keyboard you want to make it. And you're going to follow the prompts all the way through. Whatever the blue bar is lined up to in the middle column is the button you should be pressing. These last three aren't necessary, auto fire and mic. But if you'd like to assign them, you can feel free to do so. And then once we're done here, we're going to press OK. Next thing we're going to do is go to options and then video. Here we can change our video settings. If you go to mode, you can change the resolution of the game. I like to go with 1280 by 800, but you can go higher or lower if you want. None of this is actually necessary. And for filter to make the game look a little bit nicer, I go with 2x sal. But you don't have to do that. You can go with another one. It's a preference thing. And then I click 32 bit right here. And you're able to adjust the brightness, saturation, contrast, and hue if you want to mess around with this stuff in your game as well. And then we can press OK. Now your emulator is ready to play games. I can't tell you where to get games, but I will say Google is your friend and almost every site will work. Now all we have to do is load up a game. And you can either do that by going to File, Open, and then finding the game on your computer and double clicking it. Or you can click and drag a game into it. Well, I hope this video helped, and if it did, be sure to like and subscribe. I got a ton of other videos on emulation and a bunch of other stuff you might find interesting, so go check them out. You guys have a good one. Peace out, homies.